Greetings Lunarians and Brigandine fans. I am your host Valgo Sonari back with another guide video formation for you today. This is going to be more of a fun one called the Spin to Win Formation. The name has no significance, it's simply my own creation, so hashtag Spin to Win in the comment section. What we're mainly going to be looking at is how to make the best use of a Viking or Barbarian or Berserker's radial spin attack like Disaster Swing and or Raging Hurricane. Both the Tier 1 Barbarian and Tier 2 Berserker are going to get a free spin attack like Disaster Swing. However, once you get to Viking, you get the Raging Hurricane attack, which has a ton more damage at the cost of MP. So you can feel free to use this tactic with any of the classes, but I will say that you are definitely going to need to greatly support the Barbarian class if they are a lower level. My recommendation is that you wait until you have at least a high level Berserker to a Viking class before you start using this formation. So here we have the Viking right here. If you were to use this attack, it targets like this. It's going to hit anything that is within these hexes that surround the Barbarian. And I do mean anything, including your own unit. So you have to make sure that you compensate for this by not placing units around the Barbarian that are your allies. This will indeed expose the Barbarian class to a lot of attacks, but there are several ways that you can support the Barbarian to make sure that they survive. So assuming you're facing this way in a flat hex formation, your units are going to look about like this. They're going to populate all these tiles surrounding the Barbarian so they do not get hit by the radial attack. Question is, which units do we use and what is the optimal placement for said units? Any tanking units that have breath attacks are going to do really well in the front line because you have a straight line going from the breath attack here to here. You can also get the same thing done if you put a monster over here with breath attacks, you can breath from here to here. This really pumps out a ton of damage if you combine this with the radial attacks from the Barbarian. So I went ahead and filled up the surrounding tiles with more tanking monsters. By all means, you can use anything that you would like that can get the job done to guard your support line that's going to be in the back row here. Since we have a nice pocket on this side and this side, why don't we go ahead and put an angel and a demon there so they can use their curse attacks slash divine ray attacks. By all means, you could put leaders here as well that will get the job done, like a witch and or a wizard. But let's quickly talk about the support line. I'm going to actually add three more hexes back here because we can afford to have healers three spaces away from any given unit. If you were to put unicorns all back here with heal ability and or leaders, you'll be able to reach every single monster and or leader, including the barbarian, from these three hexes. Granted, it may be more beneficial to put them here, just because if you want to move this formation forward or have to break formation in any way, you want your healers as close as possible to the front line. So I'll just slap some support units back here for now, just to talk about what role they would fill in order to support the Barbarian. For example, if your enemy happens to be very magic heavy, you're going to want some spell resist or magic resistance that can get done by using the Siren and or Mermaids to cast resist on your leader. If the enemy has a lot of physical units and melee units, which they're most likely to have, you'll definitely want to bring along an Imp or a gremlin in order to use protection spells on your barbarian. And of course, as I explained before, the healers are a necessity. Make sure that you have an abundance of them, at least I would say two, maybe even three. You'll want to have a good balance between healing, protection, and spell resist. So as I said before, you can put these three units as well into these hexes and they will do just fine. However, let's look at some other options that you could potentially use. Units that are going to do really well in the back row here are going to be archers and or goblin knights. You can also have some good DPS if you have a sorceress and or wizard back here, but the only thing that can be used for damage is the flame attacks or the low level spells like frost for example. I prefer to use high level monsters and archers back here in this area because once they are able to class up they can shoot three hexes away from their current position. That means all of these hexes right here are potential targets for high level archers and or goblin knights. Just be sure they are at least tier 2 or higher. So let's quickly go over the pros and cons of this formation. One big pro would be using heavy damage with 100% accuracy with both breath attacks and of course the disaster swing or radial attack from the Barbarian. Another big pro would be heavy experience gains for the Barbarian class because we can hit three hexes in front of us multiple times per turn. Another really big pro would be a great defensive formation by placing the Viking class on a castle hex. And the last pro that I will mention is being able to entice a quick retreat from the enemy 
by bursting down their units very quickly. Now let's discuss the cons. One big obvious con is trying to compensate in general for the Barbarian class. That's kind of the nature of the formation itself, but it still is a con regardless. Another big con would be needing very specific unit compensation in order to get this to work for support, damage, and protection. And the last con that I'll present to you is that the formation doesn't do very well against an army that has heavy bow attacks and or magic attacks. You still may be very successful if you have spell resist for your barbarian, but magic attacks and ranged attacks in general can burst down the barbarian very quickly if you are not careful. And that's going to do it for today's presentation, folks. I really hope you enjoyed the video today. If you have ever used or plan to use this formation, I would love to know that in the comments below. If any new Brigandine players need assistance with the game, please share these videos out. It really helps. And also do not forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. I am your host, Vako Sonari. See you on the battlefield, Rune Knights. Peace. Bye.